approaching it with a radical approach these days of just setting up like a band and blasting music down. And you don't always hear music being recorded like that anymore. <laughs> For me, it's all I know how to do. You know, I think if I was able to work on Wall Street, I might work there, but <laughs> because I don't have that ability, this is what I do. This is what I was kind of driven to as a kid. And so, once you go down that road for a certain amount of time, there's kind of no turning back, you know? Yeah, I, I agree fully. That's my excuse as well. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Yeah, it's, uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, usually I start with music first. Sometimes I'll have a idea about... Uh, some phrase or something that I want to, or even just a subject matter I really want to write about. But I tend to pick up a guitar first or, or sit down and play a melody with that inspires you to finish it, write some other stuff around it, you know. Yeah, it's the same, you know, for me, it, there's really no set theory. You know, I might get an idea or, you know, hear something and it'll trigger something in my head and I'll go and, and try to do something similar or sometimes something as abstract as a, a new instrument. Excellent. Starts it off. Uh, I hope they're... Um, what we're trying to do here recording-wise is, is based more on like getting musical performances. I think kind of got lost in the last 20 years in recorded music and live music. I think because the recording industry changed so much uh, the way they recorded records, they, they started selling records from people who weren't good performers. And so when those people went out and performed, people didn't, it wasn't very inspiring. So I think for us, what I want to do with this record is put some really good performances down. And then when we go and play, you know, play inspiring performances for people where they, they, they're moved by it, you know, and they feel the energy in there. It's worth their while to, to make an effort to come out. You know, and lay down 10, 20 bucks to see you. You want to make it feel good for them. You want to make it worth their while in an age where there's so many options, but not a lot of good performers. Yeah, I was just going to say, I, I would really hope that the audience would really pick up on the, like Kurt said, the energy, but also the sincerity of the music and the way that we're playing and the thought that we've put into it. We're not just out there just playing the chords and doing it. We actually think out our parts and. <laughs> too much. I mean, as a performer, you always are going to do that a little bit, but you hope that what you're tapping into has to do with the energy that's in the room, you know. As a performer, I could never get past what the audience is giving back to me. And the hardest thing for me to do is to play when there's no one really there. I mean, it's really tough to really step up and still try to do inspirational music because I feed so much off other people. Um, yeah, there's one I really like a lot called Fly Away, and uh, I wanted to, when I first started writing for this record, I wanted to write a bunch of so-called folk songs, or songs that I interpreted as folk, and uh, so I wrote them with that in mind, and Fly Away uh, was a song about a guy in prison, like a prison song, and it just seemed like a real common theme among folk songs and stuff like that. Then. Um, so I came up with this idea about a guy who finds freedom incarcerated, and uh, I don't know, I think as a band we really play this song really well and it's got great energy to it and so it's become one of my favorites. It's one of the first songs I ever wrote and uh, so I, I like to keep playing it because it's gone through so many evolutions of how you play it and when I take it to this group and play with these guys it's different and it has fresh new energy. So. It's fun to go all the way back to your early songs and see if they still kind of hold up and play them in a way that these guys, I mean, they're all such amazing players that they can make everything sound good. Mm. <laughs> no. All right. All right. Thank you.